All right. Well, hey, thanks. Thanks for joining me today. And, and uh, I, I've, I've invited two of our track and field athletes to, uh, to come on with me today and talk a little bit about what's, what, what we're all going through. And, uh, and I've got two seniors, uh, two, two indoor national champions, and I've got Kate Grant, who won the indoor national championship in the shot put this year, senior from Ord, Nebraska. And then I've got Levi Sudbeck, who won the indoor national championship in the heptathlon this year. And he's also a senior, of course, from, from Hader, Nebraska. Um, both of them are in Crete right now, and uh, where all three of us are, are at our houses or apartments and, uh, and that. But anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about, the, about, about how things are going and how we're getting through the spring of the senior year in this crazy situation we're in. So, um, so anyway, so, so first off, uh, um, Kate, I'll, I'll, I'll throw it over to you first. And you're, you're uh, at, your, at your house here in Crete. Um, talk to us a little bit first, if you will, about the academics and um, how, the, how the online classes have treated you. And if this is your first time with online, with online learning. Yeah, um, so beginning off this semester, it's kind of crazy because I had two online classes to start the semester with, um, and then uh, this has really affected my um, other two courses. So I had my senior research project because my, I'm a biology major, so of course um, I have my biology senior research project, um, so that got stopped in its tracks right there. Um, and then uh, I also have a directed ceramic study um, that kind of got stopped a little bit too. So for me, this online learning, it hasn't um, affected me as much like classroom wise because mine were already online, but. Are, are they doing anything with those two classes you mentioned there or the, with, you know, with the biology and, and, uh, and ceramics? Yeah, um, so for my biology res research, to kind of like wrap it up a little bit, we have one person that's still in the lab, Erin, um, and she's doing a couple more experiments for us, but I'm actually writing my senior thesis paper right now for that research, um, so that'll kind of help, you know, wrap up that part. Um, and then for my ceramics, I'm just finishing up at home, glazing a couple pieces, and then I'll take them back, and Professor Stearns will glaze them and I'll have those, but that's pretty much it. Good deal. Well, I know the professors have been asked to be extremely flexible. And so, yeah. um, you know, with those, those are some of the classes that are a little more difficult to work with, but, but obviously they're finding a way. So Levi, how about you? How have the, how have the classes been going for you so far? Um, well, so like to begin the semester, uh, I only had three classes, which was nice. And uh, so it was kind of like an easier senior like final semester year and then like so with all this going down uh two of my classes uh the professor set up uh, some zoom courses um we did it one time and uh the professor like asked us how we would like to uh further on go with the class and stuff and we all kind of agreed that uh we didn't really need to do zoom meetings like but like we could still like set up a time with our professor if we need to ask questions and stuff so um for now, like all my professors in my three classes, we just, they uh, upload like a video or something to Blackboard and then we'll watch the video. And then like uh, on Blackboard, they have like that discussion bar and like we just put a question down and uh, answer a, um, uh, a fellow student's uh, question and like answer that. And then like if you answer the, correct, the question correctly, you get points for that. And then um, so, like for one, uh, and then another one of my classes, uh, uh, we like have this like online virtual company thing that we're doing and like we like own a shoe company with three other classmates and it's all about trying to uh, try to just run a company basically and um, that was all online already so that was definitely something that we really didn't have to adjust to I mean we just had to more adjust to like the fact that we wouldn't be meeting face to face with our professor so I mean it's hasn't been terribly hard um, it's definitely I mean, I've taken online classes in the past, so it's not like I wasn't prepared for it. So, I mean, it's it sucks that we don't have like any more online classes, like or on face-to-face -face classes, just because like you never really know when you like your last class was. And, like, I can't remember when my last face-to-face -face class was, and but now that we have online classes, I don't know. It's it's different, but it's definitely it's doable, which I feel like we've handled it pretty well so far. Yeah. 
Well, good. Well, it sounds like both of you are on top of it, and and uh, as as seniors, maybe it's less of a less of a shock to the system as it would be as a first year student uh, going going online mm -hmm. at the end yeah, of the year. Yeah, I hear that. But um, well, let's talk a little bit um, on the athletic side and. With both of you, you you both I think are coming into this situation in a similar similar fashion where you're both seniors. Uh, so you, fortunately, you're able to finish the indoor track meet before mm -hmm. everything went dark on spring sports. Um, the outdoor season obviously doesn't happen for you, but you both won indoor national championships also, and I'm guessing you had really high hopes going into the outdoor. So Levi, we'll start with you. Um, if you can talk a little bit about, you know, you, you, you won your second uh, national championship in the indoor heptathlon this year mm -hmm. and then came home with, with the national championship. And then within a couple of days of getting home, I think, is when everything really, really spiraled. And so mm -hmm. talk a little bit about that. Maybe what, you know, what you went through emotionally. If you can remember those days through that period. and what Um, yeah. So like, uh, yeah, it's like uh, finishing the indoor season, which was a great blessing just because of what happened in the next week and stuff. Like with like uh, I knew like the college uh, women's basketball, they were doing their tournament and they had to like completely cut that off. That would be I mean, for those seniors in that situation, that would be heartbreaking. And uh, but uh, yeah, so like coming home from indoor, you know, I didn't really think about like all everything that was going on. I didn't really think that would happen with all the things getting canceled. But, uh, like, during spring break, I was, like, with some a few of my friends, and, like, we were just, like, seeing news and stuff coming up. Oh, this school's closing. This school's closing. The uh, uh, NCAA did their uh, closing thing, too, with their sports. And then we're, like, oh, you think this would happen to Doan? And, or even in the NAIA, we're, like, oh, I mean, with them closing, it probably will. But we just kind of didn't want to believe that. We just kind of had the high hopes that, we'd be able to go into the spring semester or the spring uh, outdoor season and still be able to compete. But uh, then it happened. And I mean, it's definitely uh, heartbreaking to think that you would go into your final year or your final competing season and then just have it kind of taken away from you. And uh, I do like how the NAI has come out with like the, uh, you can still come back next year. And, like you won't be charged with your, uh outdoor season so like i mean for like me anyways i've been like really thinking about coming back next year to be able to do that final season because it'd just be nice to like finish out the season like on my own terms and not having like someone say like oh you can't do it but it's like like i want to know that i can still do it which is nice and i've been talking to fi about that and like how am i going to get how what, what do i need to do to be able to come back and do that so it's definitely um, kind of a sigh of relief there just to know that I have that option that I can still do but uh, it's definitely I don't know nothing's set in stone yet so I got to figure out what I got to do for it and if I want to do it but yeah well I think you know the NAIA I guess in, in my opinion followed the NA followed the NCAA and granted that season back and so mm -hmm. for both of you you didn't start the out, outdoor season so um you know, you've got that option. Uh, you would have had the outdoor season anyway, but but the semester won't count against you. So mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, something to keep in mind. And if you do want to pursue that, that's that that will be there for you. So, um, mm -hmm. Kate, how about how about you? You you won your first national championship this year in indoor uh, in the shot put, and then going into the outdoor season, uh, I'm sure you you wanted to parlay that into maybe doing, doing it again. And, and um, I guess kind of like with Levi, the same questions. How, how did that all come down for you after coming home from indoor? Yeah, so, I mean, indoor, it was kind of crazy. I mean, you don't think about it, but we're there for a whole week. And so for me, I hadn't been really keeping up with the news or anything like that. Cause you know, I was pretty focused that week. Um, and so then coming back a couple of days later, I was like, tra like traveling home in my car and I get a friend, like a call from a friend and they're like, hey, do you hear all these schools shut down? Do you think we're gonna shut down? And I was like, no way. And it kind of, within just my two and a half hour drive home from Ord, like we figured out that Doan was closing, that 
the NCAA, like they canceled their championships and spring sports. And, you know, that's when I kind of, you know, knew that I'm sure the NAIA is going to probably follow their suit, you know, and we're probably not going to have um, our outdoor season either. Um, and, you know, like you, like Levi said, it was really disappointing, um, but had to happen, you know, it's necessary. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was a pretty big shock because you never think that, oh, it's, you know, you just expect to have your outdoor season. So like for me, you know, like coming off of that, um, the shot put was my last event, you know, so coming off that really big, you know, high, I was really excited and like Lurs was here and we had a lot planned for the hammer this year. Um, Dunny and I had been working on disc and, you know, shot was good. Um, so I was really excited coming into that outdoor season. You know, I thought that we were going to compete really well. And, you know, so it was kind of, it was a big shock, you know, and for someone like me, you know, I just got accepted into um, the vet program down at K-State. Um, so unfortunately, you know, I'm not going to be able to come back um, for that extra semester, um, which is, you know, it's sad, but also you just, I just think about the, all, you know, all the good times that we had and all the good memories and we ended well, you know what I mean? And so that to me is what matters, you know, that's what I'll come back and think about. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess, I mean, that's a great way to look at it. And, and I think there's, you know, there's a lot of silver linings here and maybe five years from now, when you do look back, you'll, you'll remember the, that national championship and maybe not what could have been, but in, in the moment, I, I just, as a senior, especially, I just think it's got to be devastating to have that opportunity just, just taken away. And it's nobody's fault. Like you said, I mean, it, it, it is and was the right thing to do for, for the health of the community. But, um, but anyway, that, that's why I wanted to bring you both on to talk about that a little bit and, and see what, what your thoughts were. Um, so let's talk about this and Kate, we'll, we'll start with you. Um, senior year, uh, and I, I've always said that the, the senior year spring semester is just a really fun time to, to be alive because you're close to graduation. The weather finally gets nice in this part of the country and there's just a, a, a lot of a lot of fun to be had, a lot of neat end of year events. And now uh, those things aren't going to happen this year. What, what, are your, what are your thoughts on missing out on some of those things? Yeah, that's, that was one of the biggest things, you know, because like senior year, it's full of those like last memories, you know what I mean? Like that last track meet or that last stop day or that last spring formal, you know, and like, those are the things that I'll really miss, you know, making those memories with, you know, the girls in my sorority or my teammates out, you know, and just, yeah, those like social events that you never are going to have again, you know, like there's never going to be anything like stop day ever again, you know what I mean? And so, you know, you always hype those things up in your head and you're like, oh, it's my last one. It's going to be my best one, you know? And so to kind of have those all like taken away, you know, that was kind of, it was really disheartening, you know, it was really sad because those memories that you know, you're not going to make, but then, you, like I said, you also have to focus on all the good ones that you did get to make, you know, but yeah, it was a little hard for me. How about, how about you, Levi? What, what, uh, what are your thoughts on missing out on some of those things? Now you had mentioned you may try to come back next year and take advantage of that outdoor season. So you may yet get, get your opportunity, but. Yeah. But I mean, I, yeah, I agree. Like it is very sad for all that to happen. And like you said, I might come back next year and, um, I mean, even if I did come back next year, like I plan to have like, hopefully have like a full-time job. So like, I might not be able to do all the stuff I could have done this semester, but, uh, yeah, like it's, it's definitely, it's definitely sad. And I mean, like, uh, thinking about like what I could have done, like in the last two months, like with all my friends here and all the other seniors that I could have had fun with. And like Kate said, with stop day, I mean, it's like your senior year, you expect to have your last stop day and just be able to go out and just kind of do all the events that don't provide for us and just really have a great time and make some memories. And then uh, I also saw the email that we got sent out today about our graduation ceremony that we can't walk. We're not going to have it or like postpone it. So that's very sad. I mean, I, I 
thought I figured it was going to happen, but you know, it's just like you hope it doesn't. And I mean, just thinking about uh, like even like my roommates too. Like uh, one of my roommates is from Canada, Berkeley. He left this weekend to go back to Canada just in case of stuff got worse here and he just wanted to be back home with his family that way he was closer to them I mean he wants to come back sooner than later and if he's allowed to it'd be great to have him back again but um yeah I mean it's just it's just something that I uh I'm gonna miss but like like what Kay said you gotta look back on the memories of past years past stop days past weekends with all your friends and just something that uh like the memories you won't forget but you're definitely going to miss the memories that you wish you would have made. So, but. Yeah. well, for, for, for both of you, I guess for, for what it's worth, you, you don't get to come back and even get the pats on the back and high five and, and hugs from winning that national championship. Cause we came back right into spring break. But, uh, but that was for, for us here uh, at Doan, it was a, it was a magical weekend because the two of you won your national championships and then Boggy Boldma won a, a wrestling national championship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All, all on the same day and you know for me as the athletic director uh, that was we didn't know it at the time but that was essentially the, the end of our sports season um, and I guess it was a, a really high to, to finish on so for what it's worth congrats on on that and um, you know we, we, we'll move on and try and make the most out of, out of this whole thing and find the opportunities mm -hmm. where they are so well, thank you both for joining me today. Is there anything that either one of you would, would like to, to say before we sign off here? No, I gotta go. I mean, stick with it. Yeah, I was just gonna say good luck to everybody, you know, next year and to those seniors coming back, you know, make the most of it. And even if you're not, you know, just, yeah. Like I said, look back at all the good times and yeah, Don's been awesome. Yeah, I agree. I wouldn't trade this place for anything. All right. Well, thank you both again, and congrats on your on your your indoor season. And thank you. Well, uh, hopefully, we'll see you again here once we can get uh, get get a little bit closer and get back in touch. Oh yeah. Definitely. All right. All right. Thanks. We'll talk to you yep. later. Yep. yep.